but everything revolving around Spring Boot, right? Because Spring Boot is the hero here. How do you set up services? How do you set up repositories? All of these different set of layers we are going to talk about. With REST, some microservices, with gRPC, how can you actually make them communicate? Hey, how can you set up crons and schedulers in your Spring Boot application? Hello everyone, I am Sanket Singh and welcome back to my channel. So guys, till now, I believe by reading the title of the video and by looking at the thumbnail, you must be already aware about what we are going to discuss in this video. So yes, after finally all of your requests, all of the queries, we have finally launched our Spring Boot Bootcamp, right? It's going to be an end-to-end -end Spring Boot backend development bootcamp. Yes, it's going to be one of its nature, right? You will realize that not a lot of people are going to talk about what we are going to actually learn in this particular cohort. So before I actually make you understand what are the offerings in the cohort, we need to first of all understand that why Spring, right? I have been in the industry for quite some time. I have worked with different type of backends, including Ruby on Rails, slight bit of Python with Flask. I work with Java as well in LinkedIn. I work with Java and C++ based backend in Google and whatnot. One simple thing that I realized that still the majority of the industry is writing their backend code in Java. You take most of the fintech startups involving Uni, PhonePay, Cred, all of these big fintech startups are writing their backend in Java. You take big MNCs, you take something like Amazon, you take LinkedIn, you take Google, all of these big tech firms are also writing all of their backend code in Java, right? Why is that? Because Java offers tons and tons of features revolving around security and performance that are very, very crucial for these companies. Apart from that, a very big legacy code base of most of the companies are already in Java and they have good senior engineers who are already fully trained in Java. That's why they still continue to develop things around the Java tech stack. And I recently took a poll on my LinkedIn and to my surprise, the two most used technologies in my LinkedIn community came out to be JavaScript based frameworks and Java based framework, which is Spring and Spring Boot, right? So that's why I thought that definitely there is a demand of actually learning Spring because if you will actually see people who do Mern stack and do JavaScript based uh, backend development, they tend to struggle a bit when they are actually exposed to a Java based backend because most of the time when you are learning Mern stack, you go to most of the YouTube channels, you go to most of the courses. What they do is they don't teach you type safe backends, most of them, not everyone, right? And when you actually land up in a world like Java, there are already too many classes and interface and everything that comes up. You don't have interfaces and everything in JavaScript, right? So it becomes slightly overwhelming for people to actually contribute to a Java based backend. Apart from that, Spring Boot is a major framework. Most of the time, Mern stack courses that you do, they involve some micro frameworks like Express. But Spring Boot is a major framework. That means apart from complexities around Java, apart from the complexity of the backend development part, Spring Boot in itself has its own set of complexities and concepts, right? That's why I thought based on whatever knowledge I have, based on my experience with Java backend development in LinkedIn and at Google, I would be able to definitely help you guys to actually understand Spring Boot based backend, right? So now we know that why do you need to learn or why you should try to definitely give a shot to Spring Boot based backend development, right? Now let's start talking about what do we have to offer in the cohort, right? What's the cohort all about? And do you even think of enrolling in the same? Let's start talking about that. Now the main offerings of the cohort is going to be four to five main things. First, this is not going to be an advanced backend development bootcamp. Right. This is going to be a Spring Boot Backend Bootcamp. That means the highlight here is going to be Spring. That means if let's say you are absolutely beginner in backend or you don't know anything around backend, this can be a good opportunity to make Spring Boot and Java as your backend technology. Even if you are aware about advanced concepts of backend, then you can simply use them and migrate to the Java based backend. Right. We are going to talk about concepts around databases, networking, how to set up your own backend server, how to make backend applications, how to make APIs, how to deploy them, everything. But everything revolving around Spring Boot, right? Because Spring Boot is the hero here. This is the main thing that we are going to learn. As I mentioned that Spring Boot framework has its own set of nuances. That's the first point. Second point. This bootcamp is going to be a slightly fast based bootcamp. If you see most of the bootcamps that we have at AlgoCamp, they are slightly more prolonged for a long period of time and uh, they slightly go in depth in a particular, I would say, eng perspective. Here, because the main 
agenda is spring boot so we are going to take a deep dive in spring boot in seven to eight weeks yes we are going to keep things slightly on a higher faster pace because what i have seen with my experience is that for a long cohorts people tend to actually lose interest but when they have a goal that okay in two two and a half months you will be able to get onboarded to a new tech stack that is very widely used in the industry and it's slightly hard not a lot of people actually talk about it you will actually feel a sense of i would say achievement and then you will be able to make more projects around spring boot apart from that the topics that we are going to cover are not going to be shallow or not going to be beginner level we are going to see tons and tons of things around spring boot few of them i will list towards the end of this video but for in depth detailed topic discussion i'm going to make a separate video where i'll talk about all of the detailed topics that we are going to learn in the cohort the next major pointer is the pricing we have kept the pricing very aggressive yes so as of now if you will try to apply the coupon code early bird then you can actually grab the course for 2500 inr plus taxes right this code is going to be for initial few set of days post that this course price i believe should go to max at 4000 plus gst or whatever the taxes right but as of now we have actually kept it slightly around 2500 2700 so that because it's a shorter course right it's not a very prolonged uh, course it's a shorter code and we are going to have classes 3 days a week in the evening all these details around what days we are actually targeting when we are going to have the class you can find in the faq section of the course i would highly recommend you to actually check out the course link in the description section below and use the coupon code early bird to get a massive discount on the initial days of this course launch now let's talk about some of the major main uber level topics that we are going to cover as i mentioned i will be making a separate video later as well but still let's have an idea of what all things we are actually going to discuss so guys what we are going to do is we are going to divide our module or i would say whole spring boot journey into separate separate parts first is going to be introduction to spring we are going to understand what is spring why do you need spring boot we are going to understand the solid principles we are going to understand what is dependency injection dependence uh, i would say dependency inversion principle why do you need abstraction and how spring actually helps in a lot of cases apart from that we are going to talk about the build system that we can use in spring we are going to talk about about maven we are going to talk about gradle and we will also get a slight introduction around the google's build system that is bazel right so this is going to be the first module where we are going to talk about introduction to spring then we are going to move ahead and actually start building apis using spring boot we are going to talk about how do you set up your dto layer how do you set up adapters how do you set up controllers how do you set up services how do you set up repositories all of these different set of layers we are going to talk about we'll see what different annotations you can actually use in spring boot we'll talk about lombok which is a very interesting tool right and we'll try to set up some basic set of crud apis which will help us in eventually making our major project then we are going to talk about how you can actually connect your databases with your spring boot application we are going to talk about orms like hibernate and we'll also talk about jpa we'll see what are the different fetch modes that is the lazy loading the eager loading we'll talk about different associations one to one many to one right and corresponding to that what spring has uh, for these association that is mapped super class table per class join table and a lot of things this is going to actually help you to understand all the database related concepts and it's not just we are going to connect our uh, spring boot back into the database we are going to see database level concepts as well regarding how you can actually do sql queries what are transactions how can you manage transactions asset properties right we are also going to see indexing all of these database related concepts we are also going to see because the end goal of this cohort is not just to make sure that you know spring boot but the end goal of this cohort is to make sure that you become a better back end engineer so for a back end engineer understanding database concepts are super important and definitely we are not going to miss that post that we are going to actually talk about that how you can actually set up your unit tests in spring boot apart from unit tests we are also going to understand how can you write better api designing how can you integrate grpc with the rest apis let's say if you have some microservices with rest some microservices with grpc how can you actually make them communicate we are going to see message queues we are going to see how you can integrate kafka with your spring boot application 
Apart from that, we are going to deploy our Spring Boot application on AWS. We are going to see Docker based deployments as well. Along with that, we are going to see concepts like Spring Security and we'll also try to make our own authentication system. We'll see how you can actually manage HTTP only cookies. How can you manage JWT tokens? All of that using Spring Boot. Then we are actually going to move to slightly advanced concepts. We are going to see how can you make item potent APIs? What are item potent APIs? We are going to see how can you set up crons and schedulers in your Spring Boot application. We are going to see logging and monitoring how can you integrate uh, i would say some monitoring dashboards to your spring boot applications right we are also going to see web sockets that how you can make a quick chat app as well in a uh, spring right and we are also going to let's say spend like probably half an hour or one hour to actually see some alternatives of spring there are some really cool micro frameworks that are used in various uh, tech firms for example flipkart uses a micro java framework called as drop wizard so we might take a look at maybe drop wizard or uh, there is something called as micronaut so any one of these we can actually take a look so that in case you go to a environment where spring boot is not used but still java based backend is getting used you are not going to face a lot of difficulty apart from that we are also going to discuss about elastic search how can you do full text searches and integrate elastic search with your spring boot based ba uh, backend application how can you integrate the redis cache and integrate a caching layer in your spring boot application and the projects that we are going to make are all be all going to be microservices driven right we are going to make two projects one is going to be a major project one is going to be a project for chat application every project that we are going to make is going to solely depend on microservices architecture we are going to see how microservices can communicate with each other right if you want to do synchronous communication if you want to do asynchronous communication how can you do that all of these things we are going to talk about i'm telling you with very uber level idea of what all things are going to be covered in the course but i would highly recommend you to go and check out the course page and understand what all different topics we have actually added this is going to definitely blow your mind that all of these things we are going to talk about with respect to spring boot i know a lot of people actually fear in actually getting started with spring boot because they are pretty much very comfortable with their javascript based backend where you don't have to worry much about the interfaces and the types and everything but things slightly change in java it was very overwhelming for me as well to actually write code in the java based backend when i actually had my first day at linkedin but slowly and steadily i learned a lot of things and i believe that i would be able to actually help you as well to understand these kind of concepts right so uh, what are you waiting for do check out the link for the spring boot uh, bootcamp in the description section below as i mentioned we have priced it at 2500 plus taxes so that most of the people in the community can actually afford it and we are going to keep it slightly faster paced so that in seven to eight weeks you will be able to actually in a good shape to prepare your own spring boot applications you are going to get tons and tons of assignments that you can actually try and concrete your solid foundations in I would say Spring Boot and you will also get uh, an access to a closed Discord community where all of us are going to help us to resolve the doubts of each other. There will be teaching assistants along with me who will be helping you to actually resolve your doubts. So I would definitely recommend if you're interested, do check it out. And for more such awesome content and for more such updates on the AlgoCamp uh, website, do uh, subscribe to the channel. We are going to bring uh, a lot of content in the upcoming set of videos as well. Also, uh, one more important thing, a lot of people keep on asking that what will be the language of the course? The language of the course, we are going to keep English so that anyone throughout, uh, let's say anyone coming from any part of the India can actually be part of the course so that everyone is inclusive. So that was one more note that I wanted to tell. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We are going to meet soon in the next set of videos. Till then, take care guys. Bye-bye. I am Sanket Singh, signing off.